discusses our presentation on the art of Harlem by Thomas Deloy and Savior Kennedy. What is Harlem? Harlem is located north in the northern part of Manhattan of the big city, New York. It was founded by the Dutch in the year 1658. So it wasn't like it was already there when New York was made. But before all of the jazz and the art and the rap and all of the cultural kids of the cultural aspect of kids playing and running around, there was just a well underdeveloped farmland for just close to 200 years. But as the world grew in population and America would grow in slaves and in um, people in general, New York would also increase in population. The population of Harlem would take an increase significantly as part of Northern America being a part of the Civil War, which is where a lot of African Americans would migrate to get away from slavery. Those trying to get away from slavery were from the South or Southern America and were trying to leave due to the Jim Crow law. But to skip ahead, Harlem would become a figure in the Great Migration, which led to it being called the Harlem Renaissance. Harlem was once a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood, a high class Caucasian neighborhood, but would then turn into a home for plenty of African Americans. It would gain the name the Black Mecca in the present day for allowing African American migrants to move to an area to not only be surrounded by those they may consider their brothers and sisters, but to live a better life because they weren't either educated, talented, or athletic. The cultural the culture behind Harlem has only increased the black migration and the historical culture it holds will never leave. The painting shown here is titled During World War One, there was a great migration north by the Southern African Americans. It was part of the migration series from painter Jacob Lawrence and was featured as the first panel of this collection. It was painted through 1940 to 1941, and it was considered one of his most ambitious projects. This painting here tells the story of African Americans that were moving north to find jobs, housing, and better freedoms. Looking at the painting itself, we can see a great amount of people flooding a train station to move up north to cities like Chicago, places like New York and St. Louis. In this case, the ones going to New York were mostly going to Harlem. It might not be street art, but it is considered a very important depiction of Harlem's history. This 12 by 18 painting set on a hardwood with case and paint holds more history than you can imagine. And it was shown in the MoMA, an accomplishment not many artists achieved. Shown here is Jacob Lawrence himself. He was considered a master storyteller throughout his paintings. And he lived in Harlem throughout the depression and the Renaissance and was influenced by his surroundings. His experience in Harlem stuck with him so much and inspired him to paint these works of art, such as the piece shown before. He was concerned with the black migration due to his parents becoming part of it. And the stories told from his parents influenced his paintings and just how he felt on the movement. His aim was to show people what this experience was like for the African Americans moving to the North. And although he only lived in Harlem for a short while, his experience there stuck with him and was resonant enough that he wanted to tell his family's story and other African American story to the world. The glass mural here is called The Spirit of Harlem, made by Louis Del Sarte. Um, it was created in 2005, right down the street from the Apollo Theater in Harlem. It was made as a tribute to the wide range of artists and the wide history from, of artists and musicians in the community of Harlem. It was made as an African, it was made as African Americans came together and put together the pieces that reflected our need to feel, a, um, to feel whole and to feel one in a world that can be so broken in many pieces. The broken pieces, the broken parts of the mural are shown to us as viewing the bigger picture. Though the pieces may be broken, there are also something beautiful to see from what may be broken from the inside. And that was the goal from this mural. 
In 2017, the mural was sadly covered by a shoe store trying to remodel the building. But the community would then come together, the community of Harlem would come together and protest so that the mural was no longer covered. Being that it was not only some art, but a mural that showed how far African Americans have come in the history of the Black migration. And now the mural is no longer covered and is still able, is still viewable to the public. The creator of the mural what is Louis, Louis Del Sarte. He is a French and African American artist born in Brooklyn, New York in 1944. He was born into the middle of the black migration. So he kind of got, he got the taste of it at maybe its peak. Though he was not living in Harlem, it wouldn't separate him from the cultural aspect that surrounded Harlem and the city of New York. His parents happened to be friends with public artists and entertainers in the Harlem Renaissance. Such things as African-American history, the world culture, and even some entertainers from the Harlem Renaissance would inspire him to pursue his inspiration for art. He would attend Pratt Institute in New York to get his bachelor's in fine arts, but then he'd follow up by getting his master's in fine arts at the University of Arizona. His work has been shown around the world in exhibitions at museums and galleries through the United States and is one of a kind. The mural shown here is known as the Spirit of East Harlem, and it was painted in 1974 by Hank Pressing and Manny Vega. It is on display at the southeast corner of Lexington Avenue and East 104th Street in Harlem. This mural tells of the people who lived in Harlem during this time and can also be tied into the same individuals who moved there during the Black Migration. This four-story mural shows many different people within the city or within the community with all of their differing characteristics. It shows workers, common people, families, children, wealthy people, and many more. It ties into the fact that Harlem is a melting pot in its current state and all the way back to the Great Migration. This fact is also evident because of all of the different African Americans that moved there in the first place, and also the Puerto Ricans and different nationalities that moved there over the years. The initial African Americans varied from unskilled laborers to educated middle class, and the people that moved there in the future also vary from the same unskilled laborers to educated middle class. It ranges all throughout the socioeconomic scale. And it has, this mural itself has survived so many different predicaments, such as the elements of nature, a fire that actually happened in the building, and even vandals that tried to deface the mural. But each and every time the community came together, such as with the mural before, to either restore the mural, make sure it was protected, or just to keep it shown to the public. The artists shown here are Hank Pressing and Manny Vega. Pressing originally began the mural on his own time during a period that Harlem was known as El Barrio due to the influence of Puerto Ricans. Vega one day was walking down the street, saw him up on a scaffold painting and asked him to help. And from then on, he was Pressing's apprentice. The mural was created to show the time period and is known as a time capsule to show the different people that lived in Harlem during this time. It was shown to kind of depict the 1970s, but it can also be tied back to the migration as mentioned before. Although it is only focused on East Harlem and shown in East Harlem, this is how life throughout all of Harlem was. To wrap up the whole cultural aspect of what Harlem was to the Black migration, this is only the tip of the iceberg for the murals and paintings that are throughout Harlem. These are just three that we decided to tackle and three that we felt that were very key figures to the Black migration. And they highlighted the changes throughout Harlem and throughout time and how the community functioned as a whole 
during different times. The first is aimed at the migration itself, while the second is aimed at the life in Harlem through the years. And the third focuses on the people as a whole with ties back into the first painting of the migration and its start. These artworks show Harlem for what it really is and gives people the better understanding of life that there is to be in Harlem and that Harlem holds. Even the paintings themselves have shown what the community is like with people observing them every day, making comments or posts about them and trying to preserve them and keep them on display. They show how important they are to, ha to Harlem by both bringing the community together, telling stories from the past and allowing the youth to see where we came from and what brought us together. Thank you.